Hello everyone. Today in this video, we will design a very interesting project related to IoT web server. Here today we have a LDR sensor with us. This one is a LDR sensor which detect the light intensity and it transmit the value of light if better whether there is a light or not to the IoT board. It connects to the IoT development board. So in today video we will see how we can transmit the value of the light sensor to an IoT web server. Here in our case today we have Adafruit web server. So we will transmit the value of the light light sensor to the IoT web server. So let's first see the demonstration. So now we will connect the LDR sensor to the IoT development board. Okay, and we also have connected the micro USB cable to the computer or laptop. So this one is our web server. It is a Adafruit web server. Here we have a widget. We call it widget where we see the value 0 or 1. Here we have a graph. Our value 0 or 1 will be shown in the form of a graph. And here we have a button. This button is used to switch on off, switch on or off uh, LED on the IoT development board. Here we have a de LED on a development board. We can control the switching of this LED from the IoT web server. So presently the sensor is transmitting a zero value to the web server. So presently the value is zero. Now we will block the light. Now we will block the light with a hand. So now it should transmit a value one. It takes nearly two to five seconds for the updated. Now the value is updated. We can see on the web server it is now one. And the same value will be updated on the graph. The last value is one which was on 14th March 448 pm which is the present time. So when we remove the hand the value should uh, get back to zero. It will take two to five seconds. Okay the value is now again zero. So we have one more functionality related to the controlling of LED. Here we have a switch on off switch. Before controlling the LED on the IoT board there is a DIP switch 8 on the IoT board which should be on. So this is the DIP switch 8 which should be on. So first we will switch off switch on this button. So we have switched on the DIP switch. Now we can control the LED using IoT web server. So now the LED is on as we can see on the IoT development board. Off. Now let's try the same functionality with the DIP switch number 8 off. Now the DIP switch 8 is off. Now let's try. As we can see now the we cannot control the LED with web server. So for the proper functioning the DIP switch number 8 should be on. So this was the demonstration. Now we will see how we develop the program and the logic. Now the first step is to establish the account on an Adafruit web server. First we will sign out as we already have account. So we will start from the beginning. The first step is to create an account on IoT web server. If anyone has, is having a already having account, we can directly sign in. For new users, we need to sign up. We need to fill up the details. Now we need to enter a password. Create account. Have a error. 
so this error is due to the we already have a account associated with the email address so now we will try some other gmail address So this time we are trying with some other details. So the account has been created. Now we need to click on the action, create a new dashboard, enter the name, done, create. Now we we'll click on the plus icon. We will add a switch widget. Now, next step. Log title is LDR. Now next we will add a gauge This gauge is for the light sensor So gauge has been added. Now we will add a graph. So now we have added all the three required items graph, switch, and gauge.
now we will do the programming part for programming we have arduino software and this one is our code so in the starting we have included some libraries so this one is our full code for programming and coding we need some libraries these libraries are available on internet to download them we need just now we will paste it so the first link is the download link for the library here we have a green button for the download download zip now it will ask to save the file the file has been saved so by this method we can download all the libraries and uh, so we have already downloaded all the libraries and gather them in a folder so after this process we need to add the library to the software include library add.zip library desktop iot kit now we will open the library so by this method we have added the library to the software after downloading it so now we will understand the code so first three names three include statements are for the libraries of the mqtt server here here we are using MQTT protocol to transmit the information from the our IoT board to the web server. MQTT is a very lightweight protocol for the exchange of information. Next we have entered the WLAN password, Wi-Fi LAN password and its name. Uh, here we need to enter our router address. In our case we have our router named as Newton Sir and its password is Bulbs Father. So this is our present network name and password we need to change accordingly as our requirement next we have adafruit server details these are some fixed details that we, we should not change these details are provided by the adafruit so these details we can get from the adafruit server first second details are fixed details server and server port third is the username that we have created fourth is the server key so adafruit gives us a server key we can get it from the website we need to copy it from here and paste it in our code we also need to change the username Username is Amanpreet JPR. So after that, we have defined the pin number for the photo cell. Photo cell is is LDR light sensor in our case. It is connected at pin number 13 of the IoT board after that we have a lamp pin lamp is our LED and it is connected at pin number 16 after that we have created Wi-Fi client and Adafruit client and after that we have added three statements related to the MQTT web server these are some some publishing details as MQTT protocol has a publish method publish is transmitting the information to the server so these three are publishing details in which we have details regarding the publishing
सो दीज थ्री आर दी पब्लिशिंग डिटेल्स स्टार्टिंग टू आर पब्लिशिंग एंड थर्ड वन इज सब्सक्राइब डिटेल सो दीज आर रिलेटेड टू द फीड्स दैट वी हैव क्रिएटेड वी कॉल दम फीड वी है एडेड द फर्स्ट वी एडेड द फोटो सेल एंड देन वी एडेड द लाइट एंड देन वी एडेड द ऑन ऑफ सो द नेम मे डिफर सो फॉर फॉर कन्फर्मेशन वी विल गो टू द सर्वर पेज एंड विल चेक द फीड सेटिंग्स so we added three feeds the first one is a switch the name of this feed is led switch we'll copy it from here and we will add it to the subscribe detail this is called a subscribe detail because the server will transmit the information to the iot development board so there are basically two things subscribing and publishing so the second is we are copying the feed for the graph the name is light graph third one is the gauge that we added so starting to one are subscribe details third one is the publish feed so done with the entry so uh, the thing is uh, subscribing means when when the server transmits data to the iot development board and in publishing mode the iot development board transmit data to the server so they are publishing and subscribing next we have inside the setup function we have initialized the serial protocol on the serial monitor arduino has a serial monitor and in serial monitor we will display some details and information after that we have declared the pin mode as output for the led pin then we have started the wifi to connect to the internet after that inside the light function inside the light function we have sensed the value of the ldr then in the loop we are trying to connect to the mqtt server that is adafruit server after that we have created a object for the subscription next in the while loop we are reading the subscription request and if we get a on off button re request from the server we will switch on the led we will digital write the pin low if we get a on request we will switch on the led if we get a off request we will switch off the led the same information will be displayed on the serial monitor after that we have a mqtt connect function that we called inside the loop in this we are trying to connect to the mqtt server we will display all the information on the serial monitor if we get connected the message mqtt connected will be displayed on the monitor so this was a short summary about the code now we will select the board from the tools menu the board is node mcu the port port should be the usb cable number com44 
the port name will only appear after connecting the USB cable. Now we will click on upload button to compile and upload the code. So now uploading is done. Now we will open the serial monitor to see the information on the display screen. So here we have a serial monitor displaying the information. All the details are displayed. Now we will open the web server. So here are our widgets. First we'll switch on the DIP switch number eight. So now we are controlling the LED from the switch button on off. So it is working correctly. Now we will block the LDR sensor with hand. So the value will update to one after few seconds. So it is also working correctly. The same thing we can see on graph. The graph is fluctuating between zero and one. So this was about the updating and transmitting the LDR value, light sensor value on the Adafruit web server. Like this we can achieve more projects in which we can change some server. Other, other, there are other servers like Amazon server, Microsoft server, IBM Watson server, Thinkspeak server. So these are some other servers. We can try the same thing with these servers. And also we can create a project in which we can change the sensor. There are other sensors like thermostat which are related to temperature sensor and uh, like ultrasonic sensor. So we can interface these sensors and create some new and interesting projects like we have created with the LDR sensor. I hope you like our video. Thank you.